Hey everybody, we're going to do one quick thing tonight, and man, I'm just trying to prove to you all that I love Logic the most, or have the least amount of life. It's Friday night, and I am sitting at home working on a Logic video. Okay, so I've been a little sick this week, and what I want to do is show you how to try out alternate tempos of your project. Say you started working on something, and you're like, ah, that doesn't feel like the right tempo, but you've already recorded some stuff. Well, we have a couple options. Um, the one that I think is really the coolest is VeriSpeed. So if we go in here to customize the control bar and display, uh, you'll see right off the bat that this middle section is uh, the LCD and it's grayed out because it's on one. Let's go to Custom and let's turn on VeriSpeed. Now I don't need positions. I don't even think I really need the locators right now. I don't really work with them that much. Tempo I want to leave on. Um, it will leave all the rest. Okay, so now we have this. It may look blue at first, but right now I've already been adjusting a little bit. But check this out. I'm going to push play so you can hear what we're listening to. <laughs> I just recorded a little bit of a vocal just so you could hear the change. So let's change the speed down by 10%. And now you'll see a difference here. So drummer, MIDI, and vocals staying the same pitch but getting slowed down. Fifty percent is how slow we can go. We can go up to a hundred percent faster though. <laughs> kind of cool. Now we have a couple different modes here, speed only, then we have speed and pitch, which is kind of like a tape machine. It's going to do audio uh, pitching up and down. This is useful if you want to actually test out in different key signatures. In addition to slowing it down. And then we have VeriSpeed and MIDI. This means instead of slowing down the audio from the MIDI instruments, it's actually going to transpose them. So let's take this down to 50 and let's try each of the three modes and see how the processor is being used. It's a very small project so we might not notice anything. It's this one that I noticed a little bit more of a spike. And if we had a huge project, I think that may actually make a little bit more of a difference. But with such a simple project, it's not doing much. Let's go up. Certainly the Vera speed plus MIDI, it seems to have the lowest CPU impact, so kind of interesting. But a great way to be able to, to change a lot of things. Now notice if we're changing this, it actually does change the tempo. And this does not change the tempo of the project, it's just speeding it up after the fact. I think we're onto something. I like that song way better, 100% faster. Okay, I gotta go um, get some sleep. Not feeling great. Hope you enjoyed this little tip, and we'll do another live stream later this weekend, so look out for the invite. See you later.